What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about the Strangers trilogy that's coming out. We'll be talking about uh, Saw X. We'll be talking about Scream 6. And we'll be talking about A Quiet Place Day 1. That spinoff movie, not A Quiet Place 3. So Lionsgate, uh, we know, is working on that trilogy to the Strangers with Madeline Patch from Riverdale and Fro Gutierrez. And we now have learned a couple days ago, I got this from Bloody Disgusting, that Rachel Shenton... Uh, has signed on or Shanton Shenton has signed on she'll be appearing as Debbie who is the sister to Madeline Pesci's character now we know that this project is going to be focusing on Pesci's character who is driving cross country with her longtime boyfriend to begin a new life in the Pacific Northwest when their car breaks down in Venus Oregon they're forced to spend a night in a secluded Airbnb where they are terrorized from dusk till dawn by three masked strangers now I believe that this project or I I don't know if it's all three of them, but I think they've wrapped filming. I think they've wrapped filming, but if not, then they haven't. But I think I've seen online somewhere that they've wrapped filming. If I'm wrong, then you can correct me down in the comment section if you've been keeping up with it more than me. But yes, this is the newest cast member that we know will be involved in the series. I know some people, again, might be upset that we aren't getting a sequel to the first movie or to the second movie even. And they're kind of doing their own retelling of the series. To me, it still sounds like this is set in the same world because uh, I do also remember I said in another video that Roy Lee mentioned to someone that the appearances of the strangers in, comp in relation to, of course, what we've seen from them will be similar to what we've seen in the past. So we'll see how similar that actually will be, because if they are very similar, then I would just go ahead and say this is set in the same world. And maybe what they might do is reveal that these people are connected to those three strangers that have already come and gone and that there's some maybe type of cult that's out there if they want to do that not of course doing anything related to raising demons or anything but a cult of insane individuals who prey on people like this that's something i think would be cool to explore uh no release date is given yet but again i think filming has wrapped on this trilogy if i'm wrong correct me down in the comment section let me know if you're excited about this remake of or reboot of trilogies or reboot of three movies related to the strangers the second thing we need to talk about is is the saw x project josh stolberg shared some minor details related to Saul X. I guess he cited like being due to some messages that he was receiving related to the project. A few days ago over on Twitter, Josh had made it known that Saw 8, AKA Jigsaw, I believe is the title, will not be represented in Saw X in any way. He said Saw X is going to be a little old school as he put it. So Logan's story won't be represented in any fashion. I'll touch on some other stuff that has not been announced just yet, but the rumored plot again for this revolves around John Kramer, who we know Tobin Bell has already been acknowledged and confirmed to be back. John traveling to Mexico City related to something with his cancer. The story is set in between the events of Saw and Saw 2 allegedly as well. Again, nothing official has come out to back this up just yet, but Tobin Bell's return is a step in the right direction before more rumors can be made official. This again is stuff coming from the user Vink360 over on the Saw subreddit. Hopefully Saw X has already been on filming because I believe it was slated to shoot in late October. We're in the first, uh, first little stretch of November. I'm not going to lose sleep over Logan not being relevant to this story. I'm really not. Me and I know a few others think that Saw 8 is not up to par. <laughs> but I, I mean, I have that kind of thought process on a lot of them. I still watch them. They're still enjoyable. But after I would say the first two movies, the third one being passable, I think the series just kind of became overly convoluted. And although I know Spiral has its naysayers, I think Spiral was just like a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways. It wasn't the best movie out there or anything like that, but I just think it was a breath of fresh air compared to some of the other routes that we had seen. But hopefully with Saw X, with him saying that it's going to be old school, Josh that being, hopefully we get to see something that literally is in line with those first two movies more specifically. Not just the third one, but very specifically those first two movies. Because Saw 2 is still to this day one of the best sequels to a horror film, I would say. Now, just to jump into the next topic at hand related to uh, A Quiet Place Day 1. Lupita Nyong'o is returning to the horror genre as Deadline reported she is in final negotiations to star in A Quiet Place Day 1. The spinoff film is set to release on March 8, 2024 with Michael Cernowski writing and directing the project which the studio hopes to spark a universe that they can explore for future movies. Now the first time I saw the original in theaters I was like okay this has the potential to be a universe of stories to tell similar how 
one might have thought the same is possible for Jeepers Creepers if if it wasn't riddled with all that controversy. Similar to also how you had the a universe like The Walking Dead, stuff like that. So I'm not shocked that they are taking this route at all, considering the success of the first two regular entries, which is still again getting a third entry from John Krasinski with release slated for 2025. I believe Emily Blunt is also attached to return as well. There is no word on who Lupita is playing in this project, but I can't wait to learn learn more because I think she was phenomenal in Jordan Peele's Us. All we know about day one is that it's set on <laughs> day one. And we've seen we've seen this at the beginning of A Quiet Place too. So I'm assuming we'll be focusing obviously on a different set of people who were experiencing what John Krasinski's the Abbott family were experiencing on day one, just from another character perspective. So I can't wait to see what happens with this project. I can't wait to see what they bring to the table and what happens with Lupita in this spinoff and if she ends up being someone that sticks around or if they'll kill her similar how like you know i know a lot of people thought ethan hawk would have stuck around because of what was going on with his character in the purge and who ethan hawk was but he ended up dying in that movie so we'll see what happens just to conclude this movie or this video by talking about scream six scream six is going to be coming out three weeks earlier i believe three or two i think it's three coming out now on march 10th paramount announced this a few days ago a couple days ago and that was something i didn't expect them to announce that was just a completely shocking thing to see once i opened my twitter feed but scream 6 is now coming out on march 10th 2023 so we'll be diving back into the world of ghostface and all those shenanigans with our likable characters gail weathers sam tara the return of kirby reed all of those good characters sooner than we expected now of course this then means that we should be getting promo work going sooner than expected i did see people talking to the official admin over on the twitter page for scream and they've been you know interacting with us a lot more so usually that's a sign to people because of the history we saw with scream 5's marketing that they're about to drop something on us a lot of people think that something could happen at this panel that paramount has taking place in december I still think, yes, we'll get your first teaser, not, not even a teaser, you'll get your first full-fledged trailer in December, maybe sometime after Christmas, because the movie's coming out in March, and that will still leave them January, February, and a little early part of March to do some proper marketing related to Scream 6, but are you excited that Scream 6 is coming earlier than expected? What do you think that means from Paramount's perspective? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and there's video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, new or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video